I am Raheem Zulfikar Ali. I'm the Certified Analytics and Data Specialist recently from Digital Marketer. I'm the Microsoft Innovative Educator Expert at Microsoft Education. I'm Microsoft Certified Global Challenger. I'm also Microsoft Certified Trainer for, from 2016 till present. Um, I have done two masters in my Microsoft Office Specialist program that is related to version 2013 and 2016. I am the founder and chief spreadsheet officer of Excel Basement Private Limited. And for the last seven years, I have been associated with a different corporate clients uh, for Microsoft Excel. And for the last four years, I have been teaching Power BI to various industries people. Uh, recently, I'm also being a community leader for the Tableau. So in today's uh, session, today's webinar, we will be discussing about uh, First, we will discuss about types of joins which are available in Power Query or Power BI. And we have six different uh, kinds of uh, uh, joins available. As you can see on my screen, you, you can see a list here. So you have the left outer, uh, and the left outer says all from first matching from second. Then we have a right outer join, then we have full outer, inner join, left anti join, and right anti join. What, what was happening is, uh, previously, when, when we don't have uh, Excel Power Query, most of the IT guys used to uh, get data from, uh, from the SQL and they used to write a language, structured query language, SQL. And uh, those IT guys, what, what they do is they write some coding. As you can see, if I need to join, if I need to apply a join, which is called left join from two tables, right from two of the tables if i need to apply the join i need to write this code so writing a code is is not easy at, at the beginning you need to learn the programming language sql right and after learning the programming language you will be able to connect the data source and you need to fetch the data and apply the joins by, by different programming syntaxes so for the business user, it was very difficult to learn the programming language from the very start and then apply the merge on, on the data. And similarly, if you need to apply the right join in, in SQL, again, you need to write some specific lines of coding. And then uh, if the coding is correct, uh, you will get the right join of your database. So the, the problem was that the business user was not able to quickly understand, understand the languages. And for that purpose, what happens is in future, it's still, it's, it's still the SQL is very famous language to get the data from, from the servers, from different type of servers, and uh, to apply the merge and joins as well. But what happens is we have an Excel Power Query or the Power BI, we can just simply click on buttons select the join type and the system automatic automatically gives us uh, the required result without applying the codes without doing the programming so that was the uh, advantage and that is currently the advantage if you want to apply the join in power query you can simply uh, see that we have a list of uh, different join types available for the business user, you need to understand that which type of join will be very useful for, for your data, for, for which kind of data you are required and you will apply the joins. And in this today's webinar, I will be explaining each and every of the joins and their outputs so that fundamentally you can understand uh, how they react and how they respond as an outcome. And we, we are not required a SQL uh, for, for the joins with, between the two tables, okay? So that's the advantage here. Now let's come to the example. We have a very first example where we have two tables. The first table is on left side, which reflects of sales of products, and we have four different columns in it. The first column is product ID, the second column is product name, uh, then we have some dates and the respective amounts. And this table is, is known as, uh, for example, as a fact table. And primarily, might be some of you don't know what is fact table. But later on in this webinar, you will be exploring that what are fact tables in the dimension table as well. Uh, on the right side, I have one more table which contains some information. 
uh, for example we have product id again we have product names and in this table we have an additional new column which is called stock location so stock location is not available in in the left uh, table whereas it is available in the right table as well but what we need is we need to locate as we have as we can see there are three sales uh, which which are matching with with, uh, with between the two tables uh, one is related to the canor and the second one is related to the blue band and we need to look up we need to fetch and merge uh, that data with together and we need to get the stock location from the other table as well now it's all depend on the situation that what kind of a join you will apply and how they react so we will be going through one by one with with an example okay so for applying the uh, joins in in uh, excel power query you need to have uh, you need to go to data tab first and you need to click on get data and then you will go to the uh, merge options okay and i will tell you that there, there are a lot of ways you will find later on google or youtube videos but in this webinar i will tell you about one of the easiest way to get uh, merge the data uh, between two tables and apply the join as well so if you are using excel previous versions or the older versions like excel 2010 and 2013 you will get a separate tape for the power query but if you are using the latest version you need to go to data tab and from there you can get the get and transform group and you can apply the power query joins okay uh, so this is the demonstration uh, that how you you have the excel data and you go to when you go to the merge options you will see in this is screen you have two tables table one on the top side uh, whatever table you will select here this is called the left side table okay so table one is on top selected as uh, this is called as a left table table two is the second table this is called as a right table and between these two tables uh, first i am applying the left outer join and left outer join says that all transactions from the first table would come and also the matching from the second as well so the criteria matching from the second table will also be added as an output okay so let's say if this is the data if you have understood this example so the first join we will be applying in this today's uh, situation is the left outer join so for example if we have two tables the first table consists of four columns and the second table consists of three columns and between these two if we want to apply the left outer join so you can see that i have highlighted few of the rows that will definitely uh, matching with each other right and by applying the left outer join see what happens if if these two tables joins or merge between uh, together and if i select a type which is called left outer join so the output will come like this so all the transactions from the left table all the transactions from left table has been my output plus uh, from the right table we have the matching transactions with each other so this is the output of left outer join okay. let's go to the next example again if we have again these two tables and uh, we want to apply the right outer join this time okay uh, before that we applied the left outer join but now we want to apply the right outer join so what happens is so that all the transactions from the right side is available with us and all those matching transactions from the left table is available with us so this is how you decide that which kind of a join is available and suitable for your uh, further analysis purpose and then you select the uh, right type of join in power query or the power bi both uh, joins has a different outcome those transactions who are matching with each table definitely that will come as an output but if you have selected the right outer join all the transaction of the right table will also come as well next type of join which we have available in power query and power bi is that full outer join now what is meaning by the full outer join again we have the same example and uh, this time we have two tables right and between these two tables uh, 
let's say if we need to apply the uh, pull out a join so all transactions will come together all the data will be merged with together okay so let's say if i apply the full outer join so all the transactions from the left table is also came uh, all the transaction from right also came but those transactions who are intersecting with each other who are matching with each other are also on the same row so the transactions from the left or right table match from each other is is on the same row whereas all transactions has been came from table 1 left table and table 2 right table as well next kind of uh, join which we have available is the inner join so sometimes we need a less data we, we don't need for all the data uh, to be as an output we need uh, those data which is which is matching only so again with the same data with with the different two tables if we apply inner join on this kind of a situation we will get the result as like this so only those transactions who has match between table one and table two has been our output okay so in few of the situations you just need to have uh, all those transactions who are matching with, with between two tables okay second last uh, join we have is called the left anti join so left anti joins means that for example again we have two tables and we apply the left anti join on this so the output will remains all the transaction which are not matching with each other will be left and the remaining transactions will be as an output because it the word anti reflects that uh, uh, the transaction which are not matching between the two tables the remaining transactions which are not matching from the left table has been our output okay and similarly if you understand the left anti join we have also right anti join so what right anti join will uh, gives us an output from the right table the transaction which are not matching with the left table will be as an output so if we if we can see the right anti join output uh, you can see here that all the transactions from the right table which are not matching from the left table has been our output so we have so far discussed in this webinar six different types of uh, joins uh, and uh, it depend all on the situation that how you want your output to be uh, for further further analysis okay